So the three amigos have uh, come to the outskirts of Tokyo, glorious day, the rain has passed. And for one of us, is this home sweet home? Yeah, very much so. This is where I used to live uh, when I played for the Rico Black Rams. Incredible little spot. It's kind of the most expensive real estate in um, Tokyo. It's kind of out in the mix, beautiful kind of rivers. People really want to bring their family up around here and kids up here. And this is uh, Setagaya, where we lived. And Futakatamagawa is the nearest kind of station. We're going to go back and hopefully meet some of my teammates. I'm actually not that confident this is going to go that well. They look like in the middle of pre-season. We're here uninvited. I don't know. Game on. Let's lead, go. Lead on, Come on. Let's see what happens. What is the worst that can happen? Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. How are you, man? Good, I only good, got West Ham. Oh, we just come to. I do like a one, rugby yeah. show, so we just come to just show wow. everyone where I used to good, used good. to play and live. So. Yeah. Hello, mate. How are you? Good. Wow. Sorry to disturb training. Good stuff. Hello, boys. How are you? Actually, guys, this is quite nice. I'm getting, <laughs> not, I'm, I'm not in my family like me this much. He's so relieved. Yeah, he's literally. The phobia of people not liking him was, yeah. was going out of control. Genuine. Hello. How you doing? Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. Kami. Kami, I'm James Haskell. Nice to meet you. Oh, he know you. He remember you. Oh, that's good. You were superstar. No, I know. It's funny. Hello, you right? Yeah, he's not bad, not bad. I said his dick I saw I was waving, you just didn't wave back and I was yeah, I was like, why are you, why are you giving me why are you giving me evil? Did you say I want to go to Japan or did you get no, an so, offer or so did you find it? I wanted to do Super 15. I had a, a, a gap to, to fill. So I looked at maybe joining a premiership side for a period. Yeah. Um, but a lot of people weren't doing those short term deals. So what I did is I, I found this and realised it was the kind of perfect thing. It meant that I came here like fit, ready to play, yeah. but uh, not getting too broken, was well looked after. And I wanted to experience it. Like, what a place to come. Amazing. Like an adventure. <laughs> how, yeah, how are you, brother? <laughs> I saw you start. How are you, man? You good? <laughs> yeah. oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> How are you? Are you well? <laughs> What's the rugby like out here? Do you know what? Every, I had no idea what it was going to be like, and I told you before on the show that I thought I was going to be like Godzilla, I was going to be like smashing everyone that way. But look at, look at the size of it. For a, a sport that requires physical people, bigger people gravitate towards it. Yeah. And, and perhaps you don't have the, the, some of the height in the second row positions, but more often than not, there are some massive units here. Every, every team has uh, six or seven professionals from around the world, some of the best players. They have a lot of, of Tongans and Fijians and Samoans who come in on Asian passports. So the one difference is that it's consistently not as physical at the breakdown, yeah. but, but you get some big units and, they're, and they're, they're incredible tacklers as well, the guys. So, What was the biggest challenge about playing here? <laughs> language? <sighs> the language barrier was, was, was weird. You know, I don't know if you'll see here where the translators are, but they, they each group, so the international forwards will have a translator with them, the international uh, backs will have a translator with them, and they will talk. Obviously, if the coach is, is uh, Australian or South African, it's a lot easier, but we had a Japanese coach. So the, the language barrier was a problem, also just communicating with your teammates. Like being able to have a laugh and a joke, it's yeah. very difficult, that's part of everything. So you could, but it's like you tell them that and they translate, it's just all a bit slow, you know. <laughs> My humour don't work in translated yeah, 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 thing, yeah. you know. Hello, how are you, mate? I'm very well, I'm very well. Yeah, thank you. This is the physio room where I spent a lot of time. Um, but also, yeah, it was, it was great. They've got great kind of medical facilities here as well. And being part of a, a you know, living so close to training ground, I always maximise we've got some great physios, great, great care here. So it was, pretty, uh, it was pretty mega. And here's my signature. Which I don't believe my writing actually doesn't look too bad. Good luck, lads. Oh, it's so good to see you all. Thank you for remembering me. <laughs> I'll see you all later. Good luck with the season. It's so weird to be back here. You know, like I never thought when you leave, you're like, oh, I wonder if I'll come back one day. But I'm going to try and bring Chloe back, actually. I think she'd like to see it. Shape the man that you are today. This is very, yeah, very much so. Taught me to be resilient, bizarrely. Hello, right? Yeah, yeah this is my house down here. Yeah. So you've got the basketball hoop up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You know, like, when you leave a place, you think you're never going to come back and see it in, in this part, remote yeah. part of the town. Like, we came, I might come to Tokyo, but... Yeah, yeah. You, you, well, you wouldn't, really, would you? Yeah. I didn't even have a car. They didn't get me a car. M bicycle. And then a moped, and that was it. It's been really emotional, actually. I've really enjoyed it. It's nice. I'm glad I, I'm glad I did it. I, I can't want to bring Chloe back now and show her, show her everywhere, you know? Sure, she loved it.